Um, complaining as a man. Because why are you complaining you, as, a as a man? Why would you ever? Why would you ever complain, complain. about anything? Yeah, why would you ever <laughs> like, voice your opinion about anything yeah, in the world? You should like, let me be the one. As a man, the world is perfect, and you have no right to say shit about at me. all. So it's like you know, especially if you were Erica Banks, everything just right. You ain't got nothing to complain you about. You can't say shit about a motherfucking thing. It has to make sense if you do complain, but like, give just, me an example. Um, you can't, bro. You, 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 I, just don't. I, I, I mean, no. just, shut, just don't. Okay, all right. Just don't. Just don't complain. You know, when I just you want to make sure you, ain't, you shut the fuck up. I just want to make sure. Life is crazy, better bro. when you with Eric Blake. Yes, it okay. is. Nothing can go wrong. Nothing. You can't complain about shit. Nothing. What would you complain about? She said it like, don't sound right. right. Like, so. In other words, you don't want a nigga to open up to you about it. Like, if so, no, going express on, you your don't... feelings, but don't complain. See, there's a difference. So, what's the difference? Expressing your feelings is telling me how you feel. Complaining is like telling you nagging. You <laughs> or like, complain, just don't fucking complain. 85 South Show, the big business tour. Come on, man. We changing it up on them, bro. We big already business. went out here and showed them that we ghetto legends and we done. I think we done Act did the three-legged monster. Oh, we done did all types. I don't know who the fuck came up with that name. The three-legged monster. The three-legged monster. <laughs> <laughs> but that's exactly what I'm talking about. We Big business to The three-legged monster. On our way to Baltimore, we're going to be at oh, the God. Chesapeake Employees Insurance Arena. The, yeah. The employers... I think we already understand that they don't have insurance in that arena still. But the employees have insurance. Which Whatever. they should. It's going to be June, June 1st, 1st and the 2nd. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you tell me we, we, we done sold out one, we had to add another. Yeah, June 1st. Mm -hmm. I don't even know why we promoting that. That show sold out. We had to Damn. add June 2nd. And so what we doing? All the people who can't make it to June 1st, come, on. come to the second show that has on, been on. added in Baltimore. At the Chiefs ain't, man. Chiefs, oh no, that ain't Chesapeake. That's, that's Chesapeake. That shit did look like a like cheese. Nigga cake. said cheese cake. It's Chesapeake, my nigga. Chesapeake. <laughs> okay, okay. I ain't see the Chesapeake. Man, hurry up and get them tickets, <laughs> man. Man, Carlos Miller just here to let you know that we are expanding the merchandise department. Look at this. Check out these pastel colors that we got. You feel me? What's that? Light purple? What's that light? It's a boy blue? What's this right here? This light? Oh, you think you cute? You just think you cute with this shit on, don't you? Look, that's right. That's 85 South. Make sure you go hit the website, 85apparelco.com. And I'm telling you, we taking over, bro. I think the ladies is going to really enjoy these right here. And I'm talking about for all the hustlers out there. That's if you still living. Grab you something that say 85 South on it, bro. I'm talking about a t-shirt. I'm talking about a hat. I'm talking about some socks. I'm talking about a something. It ain't nothing to it. Hit the website. It's right here. You see where my fingers point? That's where the website go. Make sure you put the website right here. But look, go out there and support the 85 South Show. Yee! Yo, Richmond, Virginia, May 5th. I will be there at the Thunderbone. And yes, I am doing my 600 pound life this time. I know I didn't do it last time. I'm doing it this time. So get those tickets because you know what? This is the last time I will be touring doing my 600 pound life. So if you want to see it, Get the tickets, because I'll be there May 5th. That's a Sunday. Get the tickets. I'll be at the Funny Bone, Richmond, Virginia. Get the tickets. Go to 85southshow.com to get the tickets or the Funny Bone website, whichever one you feel like going to. But go to one of them and get the tickets, because it's my last time doing 600 pound line. All right, J-O-N. Proceed to play me some pimping, please. Yes, sir. It's about time we get to work. Motherfuckers in here having too much fun, thinking we on field day or something. Jasmine. Close the door for me. You know I don't like nobody in my business. Got so much shit to talk today. There's so many updates that need to be made. First of all, we are here winning NAACP awards and all things like that. And I've been telling y'all ever since we started that the 85 South Show is the number one show amongst black people who have two black parents and your granddaddy and your grandma black. I'm talking about a number of black folks in your family. They love this show the most. This episode right here is dedicated to black fathers who pay child support and still can't see their kids. Ain't that a bitch. Oh my God. <laughs> this show is dedicated to black people know the kitchen ain't clean until you sweep and mop. 
<laughs> and you Clorox. If you grew up in a black household and y'all had a set of towels that could nobody use, you understand exactly what the purpose of this show is all about. This show is dedicated to all the black mothers who have daughters and they do their hair and the grease don't have no top and there's rubber bands in there. <laughs> and you never got them out because you found out that she was putting them in there for a fucking reason. for all the black women that ever got their ear burnt with a straightening comb and your mama cussed you out <laughs> and said, stop moving. Be sure I still. You still got a dark skin piece on the top of your ear <laughs> or right here in the middle of your forehead <laughs> and she just put a bang over it. If you ever had to wear sandals for a whole summer, dedicated to you. If your daddy lived walking distance from where you grew up and you still never saw this nigga, I'm talking to you. If all your favorite clothes got a little hole in it from smoking weed and you done dropped ashes on it, I'm talking to you. That's why some people don't even buy expensive clothes. You ain't gonna do them but burn them bitches up. Quit smoking. Shit with seeds. No, you ain't got it. It happened. Sometimes you don't even know it's happening. It just happened. You know what that's called? The cost of doing business. <laughs> Absolutely. And not only is the 85 South Show the number one black show in America, we the number one black show in like 13, 14 different countries. They fucking with it all throughout the whole continent of Africa. That's everywhere, on the left, right, up all and the down, all the way over there in Madagascar. All the niggas in St. Lucia and St. Martin, they watching this shit daily. St. Bart's, anywhere they got some black people at, they fucking with this shit. Oprah done watched a half an episode, I heard. <laughs> Just a half. Just a half. It was too much cussing, and she ain't like the weed. The weed actually didn't bother her. It was, we kept saying bitch on one episode. It was, oh it was crazy. God. We was feeling too good, talking good shit. It was a pimp on the episode, though. Know, That's what happens like when you bring that. a pimp around. What Everybody turn into one. Jesus. They wasn't even real life bitches. They was hypothetical bitches. <laughs> like what if type shit in a yeah. scenario. Yeah. I want to dedicate this episode to all those relationship podcasts that's giving fucked up relationship <laughs> advice. Please keep that going. That's my guilty pleasure, is I watch those motherfucking podcasts just to disagree with them. Really, if you've been in a relationship with somebody ugly, you should never give relationship advice. What's your spouse looking like? If you're ugly, don't give a relationship. Exactly, exactly. Shut your ass up. Shut your ass up. I don't think that you can even use that advice because everybody ain't working with the same shit. Don't be listening to these motherfuckers on this podcast shit. Them niggas don't never tell you all the shit they do. No. Some more shit that go with that. Now, don't just be out here taking that sucker ass advice. You're going to be looking crazy, believing bullshit. But anyway, those are the updates. I hope you caught what I was saying when I was saying it. And I want you to know we got a very special guest in the house with us tonight. This lady right here, we, we all owe her for what she has contributed to the game. Yeah, that busted challenge had everybody fucked up. What? My nigga met his wife on that hashtag. Oh my God. They getting married this summer, I ain't going. <laughs> I ain't going, I don't fuck with that. I don't know how oh, I'm wow. gonna get married and it cost you $600. What type of shit is that? Don't put me in no way. Yeah. Anyway, one of the coldest in the game, she talk her shit all the way from Soto, Texas. You know her and you love her. You done clicked on that damn hashtag and you watched that busting challenge. And this the lady who's responsible for it. Miss Erica Banks is in the trap with us today. First of all, how you doing? I'm good, how you doing? You looking like you're having fun with it. I am. You're looking like you get money with it. I am. You're I looking am. like you're talking your shit out here with it. I am, I am. So what's up with it? What's going on? First of all, welcome to the trap. 
Ain't it luxurious? Look it's around. It's so nice. It's very well put together. I looked around. I said, it's nice in here. Yeah, exactly. You got the refrigerator with the cocoa puffs with oh, the yeah. damn, you know, And we got the whoops up there. Little Chef Boy ID. Okay, now. That's for the ghetto children who watch this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they requested that we put that up there. I actually love raviolis growing up. That was like my favorite snack at the house as a kid. For real? Because yeah. it made you feel like you could cook. It was good, too. <laughs> yeah, you don't need no pepper or nothing. Would you still eat it? Yeah, yeah, I got some of the house. Not the mini ones, but like the regular size. The grown people raviolis. Grown people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Grown people kid food. Yeah. You got that shit at your house for real? I swear, yeah. I only got like two cans, but yeah. <laughs> That's hard. <laughs> what else at your crib? Like if we if we were shooting this at your house, yeah. the nigga walked in the in the kitchen. What's in your refrigerator right now? Uh, what well, a pantry because that's where all the shit is. Yeah, well, so wait, we got well, we got, got ramen about? noodles, zebra cakes, the beef noodles though. I like the beef or the chicken. We um, got some of them back there too. Yeah. Right here by the couch. Look right there. The, these right here. This is what you got. Let me see. Yep. 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 <laughs> yep. Yeah, we got, a, got the one in the cup already. No, nah, I don't like the cook ones. The cook was not good. And they'd be like, the noodles different. be hard. Oh, shit. I... Yeah, it don't be good. I like the ones you put on the stove. Yeah, I don't eat them shit. You don't? I don't eat that shit. Damn. I just, I, something about that shit. I used to like them until right. I had to spend a weekend in jail. And I seen them motherfuckers cook them with the lukewarm water in the plastic yeah. bag. Yeah. It would turn me out. I ain't had a fucking cup since. Nah, the cup's nasty. So you nasty. got all the hood snacks. The zebra cakes I mean, yeah, like, I feel like there's typical snacks. Everybody don't got the same pantry shit? Like, no? Hell no. What's in your pantry? All kinds of shit. It's like what? A whole new world in that motherfucker. Is it unhealthy? <laughs> I'm telling you, I go crazy. <laughs> I order groceries like a motherfucker. <laughs> I got to have some groceries because I feel like I ain't successful if I don't just... I'm talking about groceries I know I ain't going to get to eat. How long your groceries last? Every need to couple... Full. As soon as I get back from off the road, I'm ordering groceries. I need all that. I need honey cones. <laughs> I need... Seven, eight boxes of cereal because I, that's, that's a part that's of me that will never go grow up. Like, I'll never get over that. You like Just cereal? being a nigga and walking in with options with a robe on. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we do the Fruit Loops, Apple Jacks, or the Fruit Loop Apple Jack combination? I don't know. Maybe Frosted Flake. Maybe Honey Nut Cheerios. I don't know. Well, I don't know. Oh Cookie Crisp, all kind of Cocoa Pebbles and Cocoa Puffs. I got everything with cocoa in it. All the yeah. fruity pebbles, all the shit with little games on the back. I'm, I'm still that nigga. Hey. And wrong. Cinnamon, cinnamon oh. frosty flakes and shit, chocolate frosted flakes, all that shit at my house, man. All kind of little uh, fruit snacks and gushes and uh, all that sweet. shit. I got everything. Sweet. Yeah, you can make a pizza just, from scratch. All kinds of cheeses, oh, Swiss shy. provolone, uh, <laughs> fresh mozzarella. Ground beef, ground turkey. Um, ground turkey. I got hard and soft taco shells. It's all type of exotic sauces and barbecue sauces from around the world. Three Sports. or four different brands of water. I'm, I'm living over there. Yeah, Martinelli's yeah, motherfucking sound, apple right, juice, you know Sunny D, OJ, and the purple stuff. <laughs> Mountain Dew, Dr. Purple, Coca-Cola, ginger ale. Uh, all that shit. Sparkling water? Would you like a sparkling? <laughs> There's all kinds of fruits. There's a fruit section at the crib. I'm, there is fruit everywhere. All type of exotic pineapples and shit. Um, everything that you can imagine. Bananas. Three, four different type of pears. Golden pears. Got some red pears there, too. Cherries. Motherfucking uh, blueberries. Just in case we decide to get freaky and make some pancakes or something. All types of shit. Get freaking Michael Banker. You never know. We, we may have guests over and we may do it. We may do a late breakfast or early brunch. We never know. I'm living like that, Erica Banks. Okay. It's like we got a house full. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm having never hungry. Ever. Ever. All types <laughs> of uh, exotic meats for sandwiches. What's your favorite sandwich? Oh, the undefeated is turkey and Swiss. Come on. It's typical. Man. Oh, come on, that's undefeated. It fit, oh man. Bro, say that. It's undefeated. It's undefeated. It's gotten me through many long days. Yeah. Yeah. But that's enough about me. This is about <laughs> you. This is your this is your interview. And we are talking to you. So what's going on? Man, I'm just trying to catch up, man. It's been so much going on. And, it's been a long time. And I was it's looking like, up like some YouTube years. shit. Yeah, I was looking you up on that, and it's like you just done. You're in another stratosphere with this shit. 
You up yeah. about 200 million now. Yeah, you know. Spend some time. I can work. Tow their ass up on TikTok. <laughs> what, did you ever expect the, the Busted Challenge to be like, like it was? That's a, his, that's a moment in history now. I didn't. I really didn't. You know, I didn't like the song at first. What, what the fuck? What? No, because... No, usually those are the ones. Yeah. That... I just felt like I could do a lot better. I was like, it's real simple. It's real... Straight to the point. I was they, like, hey, I'm going to scrap TikTok, it. They, they want on social media. I mean, yeah, I learned it yeah. fast. I was like, okay, so this is what they like. Yeah. But I didn't really like it. I, I like it now. I love it now. Of course. <laughs> that motherfucker did but, the numbers. Yeah. Did Nelly fuck with it? Did he embrace that look? He did. Like, we met. Like, for, I mean. he played on his sets when he performed now. And, you know, even like a couple of weekends ago. Yeah, he was in Houston and he played Busted at the end of his set. But yeah, he always been cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's been real cool. That nigga is cool. Shout out to yeah, Nelly. Yeah, shout out to Nelly. So shit, you got a lot of hits though at this point. So now that you got the fan base and all that, have you had another song to take off like that out of nowhere? One that you didn't expect? Um, uh, the last song they did a little bit was "Ain't Got Time." "Ain't Got Time" was maybe like a year ago, and the first day it was out. It charted on Apple Music at like number five. The swoop is killing me. You, you like the swoop? You fucking them up with the swoop. I love the swoop. <laughs> it's my favorite hairstyle. Oh, okay. <laughs> you brought the motherfucking swoop back. Oh, my I was God. listening to you talk, but then but the you weed was, was like, bro, that motherfucking swoop. <laughs> I feel like you, everything you say, you're telling me a secret. Like, hold up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got the swoop. Oh hey, hey, look me in my eye and fuck the swoop. You is crazy. Let me see. Hold on. Oh, she got to go back and... <laughs> you ain't got to fix the swoop. No, let me the see. swoop straight. Oh, it's cute. Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. That's, the, that's what you was going for? Yeah. Were you getting dressed, with, like, coming here like, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to swoop on these niggas. I'm, I'm going to kill you. The damn <laughs> these niggas don't even get what has my attention. Oh, my God. No. Like, I had my hair like this yesterday. So it was already done like this because right. I just like the hairstyle. Or Did whenever I wear a ponytail, like I wear a swoop. Yeah. I was like, swoop it to the side. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. And she swooped it to the side. <laughs> so your hairstyle is probably like, girl, you in these damn swoops. Yeah. She probably <laughs> she already say didn't that. know to do that shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> you I'm glad you like shit. the swoop, though. Did she ask you, like, big swoop or little swoop? Yeah, she say big swoop or little swoop. I say big. Um, Big lasts longer, like when you like. Oh, it's a different. So what, mm -hmm. what's the, like, what's the length on the on the little swoop? Where's that stuff? Like okay, yeah. at right past the forehead. Like, like yeah, it'll go like it'll go like above your eyebrow probably. But so the you big swoop go the all the way down before. here. Nah, I don't like it above my eyebrow. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like, like it. Like, what does it just feel like a hat in the, in the yeah, way? Yeah, and it feel weird. Like, Big swoop on. Can you, yeah. can you still see? Can I see? Yeah. I can see you right here, yeah. Uh -huh. But I'm saying maybe, like she, maybe you're trying to run game on us. Maybe you ain't got but one eyelash on and you don't want us to see I it. really do got two eyelashes on. You sure? Yes. Don't be trying to trick us now because we I got good cameras. That. We'll zoom in and see no. if there's another one on there. It's right here, I swear. Look. Blink. She ain't going to okay, move this move. Swoop. You got this shit. <laughs> you got to take her goddamn word because she ain't going to move oh this Oh, my swoop. God. <laughs> you got to stay where it's <laughs> Who your stylist? Go and shout her out because we'll get her on here too. Oh my I invented the swoop. Oh my God. I'm responsible for the swoop. You done seen my work. Oh my God. Her name Kira. Shout out to Kira. <laughs> Kira did her shit today. Yeah, that shit look good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna put it behind here. Baby. So now we gotta talk about your other career too now. What's my other career? Let's talk about it. You be on TV and shit? I do. Every Tuesday. Every Tuesday, y'all. How did this come about? Oh, um, I just got a call. You know, sometimes you just get a call. And somebody just interested, and they were interested at the time. I was like, hell yeah, I've never been on TV before. Yeah. Why the fuck not? What was the experience like since you've never done it before? But... Um, It started out fun. Started out. Yeah, yeah, but then it became a job, you know? Yeah. Everything became a job at some point. So it was just like, okay, today I'm just going to work. But, I mean, it was like, filming my life was kind of fun. Like, filming my release parties. I had a cooking event. Um, I had some video shoots, so... It's cool, like, to just show the world, like, what I do in my everyday life. Yeah. That's what's up, man. You be watching it? You, you need to start what? if you don't. I try to stay away from the TV. I, I know. I understand I that. I understand it. I'm, a cl I'm like, I'm I'm a victim. I, I like the clips now. Yeah. Show me what, show me the highlights. I'm looking yeah. at the whole show. Yeah. 
I look at it. Sometimes I had to go back and watch the whole show. But it, now that it, you know, I'll go watch some shit on there because you on there now. Yeah. Like if I see it pop up, all right, what that? What Erica doing this week? Yeah, Michelle, you, you late to the party, but it's the party. I am late to the party. I'm out the loop. I'm not going to kick you out for that. I'm out the loop. I'll tell you. You got to catch You know what I'm saying? That's how I know you watch it for real because everybody say that. Erica, fine. That's how I know you. She be on there wilding? Man. No, it, it one episode. It one episode where she was supposed to go and make amends with another castmate, right? But they decided to go to some bang cage. Mm -hmm. So they all looking at their phone like, "Where the hell Erica at? Where Erica at?" So they hit her up on the phone. They like, "Hey, you know, we supposed to be over here." She was like, "Yeah, I ain't fucking with y'all at no goddamn bang cage, and we supposed to be making amends with nobody. Shit can go." Yeah, down. you know what I'm saying, shit. like. That don't even make sense. Yeah, I mean, I feel you. I'm you not crazy going, stuff, I'm not going, that's just like <laughs> me and a nigga beefing that. He like, hey, bro, we're going to talk this shit out. We're we going to go to the shoe range and talk this shit out. Like what? I'm like, bitch. <laughs> you Fuck you, that. nigga. Yeah, I feel you on that. I ain't. I don't think I would have went to no bad case. You motherfucker mad at me. Like, what does that sound like? What does that sound like? Said, uh, you know what I'm saying? That's the like TV what? shit, though. They exactly, were. They don't be exactly, thinking about us. Exactly. We never, we never thought. We, we never, never. Oh my god. We never thought. We never thought. We never thought that it would. No, we never, we never <laughs> oh. thought that. I was like, I don't blame you. I don't know. He I, know. He I don't know how good. you. But we, we never, yeah. we never thought. Of, Erica, we're so sorry. Oh we my would, god. We would never put you in a position <laughs> like that. We were just gonna get some shots. Oh my God. Of you guys saying your stuff. Yeah. And, and and we were just gonna scale it back, hit a few <laughs> balls. Everybody's friends now, right? Nobody's upset like what? anymore. We never thought. Doing good damn well. What well, we're gonna go down? Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, maybe before you there, they got big bats and shit. <laughs> yeah. Like what? No. Hell no. Fuck no. What the Meet fuck? Meet me by the motherfucking pillows. <laughs> We have a pillow fight in this motherfucker. Oh, my God. No, but yeah, crazy. you feel what I'm saying? But you like, on there beefing? You had a little beef? I'm never beefing. I'm not. I'm too old for that. I don't even like that word. You on there arguing? I was on there arguing. But you know, at the end of the day, everybody there to do a job. So I'm on there arguing. You arguing? I'm arguing. So you got to watch it. You don't even watch the show. I'm That's asking. you don't know what's going on. I'm asking. If that means you don't, don't watch know. it. You know what? I fuck with you. Because you be tapped. You know what I'm saying? You I'm could, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm but him, he's full of shit. Man, whatever. Yeah, that's how he do you all I be full that's of shit. That's how he do his people. I like, told he ain't you. Even I him told know you what's I didn't on. watch it. Yeah. yeah. You were real. You kind of. He was able to tell us about a whole scene in the episode. I, <laughs> I know that nigga watch it. <laughs> but you know, that's crazy. I listen to the music. Oh, you full of shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Now he want to use the music. But, but he but didn't listen to the music, though. He, he named a couple it, songs. Yeah. I was he like, okay, it. how you he know them it. songs? He, he was he, like, he, I listened to them. I said, okay, you was really listening for real. He said, yeah. So I said, okay. A nigga could never do enough. Oh, please. <laughs> never do enough. Please. Niggas don't do enough. Why not? Why? What's enough? I'm about to say, what is enough? What is enough? Niggas just don't do enough. What, what is, is enough? enough? <laughs> she can't eat. I feel like everybody has their own definition of enough. So what's what's yours? Yeah, we'll take um, yours. Um, my definition of enough, where I'm not complaining, a, a scene where or a situation where I'm Show not. Show me a scenario where a woman's not complaining. <laughs> what? It's situations where women do not have to complain about nothing, and they're satisfied, and their man is enough because they're like, okay, I'm satisfied. I'm never like. Spazzing out, he is enough. I don't have to like look any further. <laughs> then he get up and go home to his wife. What the fuck? <laughs> well, that mean he be doing it. Why the fuck don't we ever meet these men that they be talking about? We know all the niggas they in exist. the world. They exist. They are out there. We got a whole underground they network of niggas, and we never come in contact the with these though. niggas y'all talking what about. What you mean? What happened to the relationship? Like, you know, you've had one, obviously, right? Or you still got one? No, I've had relationships. I'm saying, like, with a guy like that, that you didn't have to complain with. Um, yeah, but it was temporary. Where is this Why nigga? Why, though, if it was so <laughs> great? No, no, wait complaints. a minute. Where is he? Because that's what you've been looking for. Everything, you think there's a lot no, of... No, I'm saying, like... You better call that man in the post, <laughs> You ain't about to find two of them. You found the one you was talking nah, about. Nah, I never found him. If I found him, I'd be with him. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. These women go out here and find the exact nigga that they want and don't want him. So why would you put pressure on yourself to change? That is not what I said. That is not what I said. 
I did not say Don't that. you be out here changing. You can't be this nigga. She I don't want him. That. The nigga she want, she don't so want. So what happened with you? said it with Templeware. <laughs> I mean, you know, everything don't last long, you know. You we started complaining and he left. He other. said, you know what? I'm too good of a man for this shit. I'm and out here. I'm out here doing everything. I'm doing That's all this shit you rapping about, Erica, and you like... still treat me like shit. <laughs> you still texting that nigga. Oh. You still following his motherfucking Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny because I had a I had an ex like that and it was it was insane. Everything you just did, it was just like intense. Yeah, having flashbacks. <laughs> they say that nigga low V no. Oh my god. But don't nobody want to know, talk about this shit. That shit is painful, bro. Yeah. But I you would see imagine. the facts. Oh, yeah. Even if they it? know three niggas who the nigga they like. That's the nigga <laughs> they want. And they don't want That's him. That's what men really think. That's insane. You just sat there and said you wanted a situation where you wasn't complaining. He said, have you ever had that? You said, sure, temporarily. So then once I, you didn't say the rest, that let me know that you fucked it up. <laughs> because I would, I would like to think if, if you were in a situation where you're not complaining, that's you want some shit like that for life. You supposed yeah. to shut the fuck up and just enjoy that. I mean, you know, life happens, you know. Mm -mm, I don't know. I'm trying How to many times do you think you're going to find this, these per, these people who going to fit these standards and Maybe qualifications? Maybe two more times in my life. Ooh, I no. Like, I, I, I no. What type of hope you got? What? Hell two no. more times in my entire lifetime? Mm -hmm. That's like not crazy. You were born in in the late 90s. So you might get one or two more chances. Yeah, I feel like I got like one or two. One, two. Right. Yeah, I got faith in it. He going to see this shit? He um, watching it. He probably, I mean, I don't know. He might, he might not. It depends on what type of nigga he is. You know what I'm saying? How you feel about relationships in the industry, though? Like, you being a star by yourself, mm -hmm. do you feel like a relationship would be too demanding where you, you know, to get to where you're trying to go? Absolutely. Right now, absolutely. Of course. I mean, it sounds great. The thought is beautiful. You know, at a later time, I'm definitely interested in doing it. But at the time, like right now, probably not. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm always, you know, an open book. You like open to finding somebody and just saying fuck it. I'm not saying fuck it. I'm saying like I'm open to you know dating. Like I'm dating. You know, I feel like it's cool to date. Dating is fun. What's a good date? I'm just about to ask that. What's shit. a good What's date? What's a good date for you? For yeah. me? Yeah, yeah. Cause you man, you pick her up. She show up with her goddamn chain with her whole name on. <laughs> Ice the fuck out. What? Where you take her? I mean, a nice restaurant, of course. I can pick the restaurant. He don't even have to pick the restaurant. That's good shit. Because I know what I like. That's good shit. He ain't got to be there with one of the niggas that got, out, got the date already playing. No, but I would appreciate that. But you just said he ain't got to I mean, he don't have to, but it's appreciated. You know, but I'll pick the place. If he don't know, that's, that's fine. That's what's up. Like, you know, and then, you know, I'm really simple. I just want to eat. I want to have drinks, and I just want to have a good time. By the time we done eating, because I'm going to order so much, I'm going to be fooling the red lay down. Oh, so you so, heard they're going to eat your food. Yes. <laughs> you ain't shot. You gonna eat no. Shit. You heard what she said. You know, eat and lay down. I got, yeah, I got she going to be ready to eat yeah. and lay down. God damn it. She going to be ready to eat <laughs> and lay down. Oh, my God. Hey, man. Hey. They do sound fun when you put it like that. You know. Because it ain't. They, they got way. You can't even order enough shit that ain't. Then I'm going to be like, that's too much shit. Go ahead, get something else. <laughs> that's the problem. Niggas is taking these women places and they ain't getting them full enough to lay down. But see, I'm gonna tell you, I would hate that. I would hate that. I be meaning these, these shot holes. I would hate that. You know what? Take them somewhere, get them full so they be ready to lay down. They get their plate, plate and then they sit there and take the shit home and put it in the house fryer. Cause they be that's why women don't never eat all their food. food. Oh, you giving oh, up you the game, about Erica. About I what? just thought about something. That's why a lot of these women go places and they be trying to get that shit to go. Because they don't want to lay down. Because they don't be ready to lay down. <laughs> Dirty bitch. So, fellas, you can just start gauging about how much food she eat. Yeah. Feed her first. Yeah, she see if down. she get full. Fuck the rest of that day. She going to be ready to lay down. <laughs> so, what's yeah. a good restaurant to take with that fucker to? <laughs> Where they gonna wanna lay down? Like they gonna get full enough? Well, they gonna eat the food so they can get full enough. You lay down. Obviously, Papa Do's and and uh, what Dantana? Uh, no, all that shit. Like, they, they, they don't get full. Yeah, they don't wanna lay down. They lay down. Now Dantana's a have a red lay down. That bitch take her food off. I, I, I asked her, you don't got a half fry or something. Oh my god. I don't wanna reheat no fried food, baby. Yeah, but I do like Marcel's. Y'all been to Marcel's? 
Mm-mm. What's this? It's really good. It's seafood. I don't seafood. even know what part of town that's See what I'm saying? It's seafood. I'm saying? I, I you don't like seafood? Nah, what kind of food you like? I just, the only seafood I eat is catfish and shrimp. That's oh, okay. Good. See, no. I'm uh-uh. good, I'm straight on the seafood. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm good on that. I hate I that. I eat a fried lobster nah, tail don't. here now. That's so good. I'm bitch, you're good. Fried lobster tail? I damn near ate the shell the first one I had. Okay, I that's not that. good. I believe you did. I didn't know you was. A, it was fried shit. Nah, like, I'm, I'm <laughs> you don't put no fucking crust on nothing that you ain't gonna eat, dog. Well, no, nah, I feel what you're saying. Because they put, like, they it's fry that too. The so you shit. think it's part of the shit. I'm chewing that motherfucker right now. That shit start cracking. <laughs> <laughs> He ate the shit wrong. That's what you had to swallowed it, bro. Yeah. Out there trying shit. Don't even know oh how to eat God. it. Don't, don't even know what the fuck. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. You don't, right don't fry nothing that you don't want me to eat. Because you go eat it thinking that. Yeah, I'm thinking you that. You gonna eat fun. the whole fucking Man, thing. I, you look, I ain't bite that bit like a taco. Something yeah. told me to eat the, the center first like I normally do. Damn. I'm going to keep you wrapped up in prayer, though, my brother. So it's really just get her full enough where she be ready to lay down. Yeah. I fucks with that. Yeah. And you should have came on here earlier. We could have really <laughs> used your point of view. Yeah, I mean, I feel like for most women, you know, most women are simple women. You know, some women are different, but me personally, yeah, I just want to eat, get something to drink, get full, and be ready but to lay down. But do niggas know that before they take you out with you being Erica Banks? Do they know she's simple? She ain't going to want uh, all this shit. We no. ain't got to go nowhere they got caviar on the menu. No, they don't. They don't typically know what to think, you know, but they've never approached me wrong. You know, it's always been the right way. Oh. You know, so I be you like, get a okay, lot of male groupies at your show. Um, male groupies? Yeah. Not, not really. Oh. More so girls. Like groupies. Yeah. I'm fine. I wouldn't even say groupies. I don't do it like that way. They oh. just be like with whatever, and I'd be like, okay. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh shit! Are y'all hearing this shit or is it just me? I ain't, I'm not gonna hear this shit. Oh my god! Alright, bet. <laughs> yeah, life's crazy. Damn. Yeah. It is crazy. Yeah. You might need a podcast, Erica. You think so? I think so. My mama told me that. I was like, I don't know, mama. You got a very common voice and, and you make some good points. Do you think? I believe that, too. Yeah, I, just, I can I agree with you there. I'm about to, you know, eat until they get full enough so they can lay down. Oh, yeah, you got to put that in your phone. Put that in y'all notes so y'all can know. Oh, oh, okay. I don't even have Hey, what's good? It's your man Carlos Miller back again with better help. We all carry around different stresses, big and small. When we keep them bottled up, it can start to affect us negatively. Whether you're lashing out or shutting down, therapy is a safe space to get things off your chest and figure out how to work through whatever, you know, that's weighing down on you. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched up with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com 85south to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash 85 south to participate yeah. in this okay shit. cool i'm good yeah. so whenever you know that's how y'all do that yeah my dating days is behind me are you done dating? Yeah, I'm done with that. That means you're never going to find nobody. Oh, oh, oh. You I'm wrong just again. saying. I already found him. <laughs> That's why he's saying that. He yeah. already found him. I already found him. Yeah, I'm the one date. Oh, OK, OK. Yeah. OK. Well, yeah. well, she she, yeah, but she working, too. Oh, OK. Yeah, she okay, be here. I love it. Yeah, if it don't work out, I ain't doing no more goddamn dating. That's so you it. Just gonna if be you don't already like me, I'm not fucking with you yeah. at this age. The fuck I'm out here trying to prove to you I'm worried. Girl, you've been watching me for years. What the fuck are you talking about? No, I'm not doing shit. <laughs> Goddamn, see what you living like over there. You st- Where you working at? See if I can help this situation. Go on, quit that, because you wasting your time. They, that's the, I hate to tell you, but I, I, already, I hate to tell you, but that ain't, you're not going to do it the way you're trying to do it if you want to do it like that. Trust me, because I've seen this uh, movie before. Go on, quit that. And you still are gonna be straight, but I'm not gonna do all that, all the rigmarole. Oh, it's over with. My I knee got, hurt. I got one more left in me. I got one more left in me. My knee hurt. We'll get this shit one more try. 
You got one more? One I got more? one more. One, huh? Yeah, you at the age where you, no, this, it, this is your last one. Yeah, my last relationship. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, yeah. Mm. How's you? Choose wisely. Third to see. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got my one more? One more. Choose <laughs> wisely. <laughs> one more. What you been waiting all this time? Hey, no. We all have. Hey. Fuck it. <laughs> I ain't been waiting. We ain't gonna get on it, but yes, we are. It's, this is what the platform is for. We can are. talk about all Erica shit ain't yours too. Erica, I guess. Yeah, exactly. But you, <laughs> you, we heard trauma in your voice, and then you looked off. Uh, yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> and Nick, didn't he look yeah, off? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. he did look off. Nick, you looked off, nigga. You, <laughs> you, you was gazing and shit. Hey, I, you talk black man, yeah. you hurt. Yeah, no, nah, we 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 gonna keep it cool. Mm. See. He'd be scared to open up. It's cool to keep it you cool. He don't know who watching this show. His his wife might be sitting out there watching this shit. She might just live in one of them bullshit places. You ever have a fine motherfucker live somewhere crazy? Like, why the fuck you live there? <laughs> fuck out of there. They ain't gonna call to see the name. Yeah, look, yeah, get the why the fuck oh you live God. here? Please move out that stupid ass place you live. Anytime you wanna call that now. <laughs> <laughs> I met a what? <laughs> on Delta, too. Ain't nobody gonna get you no fucking on Delta. God, bro. It'd be some of them at the show. I'd be like, you live here? Did you come here to the show? <laughs> you you live somewhere shittier than here? You drove oh an hour God. from oh. Bro, I don't know whether to pay all her fucking bills and that little shit they had time to move it today, hey, bro. Did both <laughs> pay <laughs> off. Ooh. That's just how fucked up it be. <laughs> Sometimes you meet them, they be so fine. You be like, if she had some money, Ooh. she'd really be fine. And wouldn't be studying me. <laughs> <laughs> if I leave you here, you you gonna perish. Hey. My brother. I could bring you back, but I'm thinking I, about <laughs> one in specific, bro. I wanted to ask Shawty, what the fuck you still doing here, baby? <laughs> she don't you, know her potential. You, you taking care of your mama or something? Or what the fuck going on? Is she sick? <laughs> oh my god. All right, baby, god damn. Get the fuck out of there. Whoa, whoa. Get the fuck out of there. Yeah. I, I ain't gonna even call the city because they, they buy my ticket. Don't. I'm not. Don't. But I know I know a lot but of they, places like that. They town fucked up. <laughs> I know. That's the best part about the comedy shit, though, man. Really enjoy that. Where you could just still hit them little. Oh, yeah. Them little underground holes in the walls where you can sell a thousand tickets and shit. That shit is so fun, bro. It's fun. Absolutely. This is the best. Because you though. end up in places that's like. You end up in places that be right outside of major cities. But they be the coolest little towns, bro. And the whole fucking town come. Yeah. It'd be some shit you would have never heard of or never went to if it wasn't for. I'm talking about people don't even buy the ticket to the show to the day of the when day they of. see you in the city because they don't think you coming <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah. Man, he ain't coming here. Be <laughs> <laughs> that job fucked up the city. Man, they said you were, I'm finna go get my hair cut. I'm coming, I'm coming fuck with you tonight. <laughs> God, I swear to God. My girl got the kids in the car. Come say what's up to the kids. Nigga. That's them the best show, uh, the man. The best one. You with somebody out. auntie cook and you can smell the food while you on stage. Yeah. Man, that should be. I miss them oh, spots. My God. I was in a spot uh, like that. You, the, the auntie was cooking in the fucking uh, in the little side room. She was she was the one selling the food. Yeah, that's just how hood it was. The last look little, little city that I got to do like that that was fun as fuck was uh, Wide Awake Wilson, North Carolina. That's the name of it. It's it's, it's called Wilson. Oh, but it's it's Wide Awake. That's the nickname for the city. Yeah, never been to it. Yeah, you'd probably never go. Shit hard, though. There's a lot of real niggas out there. Yeah. Yeah. Never been to it. Yeah. I fuck with it. You got some little favorite little hood spots like that that you go get, do shows at and shit? Or you I staying mean, away from it? The, you the know you're a star. I mean, the closest thing to that would have been this club called Cab South in Dallas. And they just closed today. And I'm so today? saddened. Yeah. Oh, see, we were supposed to talk about this shit for a reason. Shout them yes. out. What was your fondest memory down there? Um. I started going there when I was like 18, because I could just go to the strip club. It was the first strip club I ever went to. Oh, so it's a strip club? Yeah, it's a strip oh, club. Damn, they done closed the strip club. They closed it up. But you know, it be too much going on over there. It's always like a lot going on over there. So maybe that's why they closed it, but yeah. it was a vibe. 
That was like my little hood spot, Hall in the Wild Strip Club. But I love a rundown strip club, like a Hall in the Wild, like a, you know, like a, like a homey feel. I like commercial strip clubs too, but no, I, like, I like a smaller I like strip black club better. Strip clubs. But I mean, they, black, they yeah. like, that's like a, a therapy lounge for black oh, men. Oh, Lord, okay. Sometimes we just go in there. Niggas done made real life decisions in that strip club, bro. Hell yeah. <laughs> Like when you had them them real deep moments and you be thinking and you like, I needed to come here and get my life together. Is that what it be? Yes. Oh that's right. Lord. That's it helps you make decisions. You can do it. Yes. It's one of the How? places a nigga can go and do it. I don't that. even know what it, it's like. Like what is it? When you it? when a black man go in the strip club, it's like that you can really feel your soul. Okay. Like, yeah. okay. We done seen some some selfish niggas turn into good friends at that strip club. I'm talking about the nigga who the most selfish nigga y'all ever hung out. Hey man, I got the next one. You're like, this nigga ain't never bought shit. Right. Mm-hmm. Nigga be sitting there smoking, looking at them asses. And then you have that moment of clarity. Niggas be like, I'm finna go back to school. Yeah. <laughs> nah, them people fuck with me, bro. Them people fuck with me, dog. I'm going to go and fuck with it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know it did that for y'all. Yeah, crazy. that shit. It's, it's like, it's cleansing. It's therapy. Mm, okay. Because them strippers don't judge niggas. Of course not. You know? No, it's a judge-free zone. It is. And for that's, sure. Even when they sell in the dream of like, hey, I'm nice. Yeah. And it's still, that shit be like therapeutic. It's like mm. a Band-Aid yeah. from being out there in the world where everybody telling you ain't shit. Even if she right. faking it, she doing her job. Mm. And that been saving a lot of lives too. Right. Right. I was hearing about that. Yeah. Yeah. So for you to say it and confirm it, yeah. I know it's a real thing. That's crazy. Do you ever hear some of your songs when you're in the strip club? Like the DJ just turn it on when they see you, or you ever walked oh, yeah. in and heard I it playing? Yeah. 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 I love the strip club. So which one of your songs you like to hear? Like you see, like to see strippers? You have to be too thick, cause that's my favorite song. I, I told you. Then yeah. I, just, I told you. You said you liked it, cause what? Why you say you liked it? Uh, I ain't gonna. Okay, okay. <laughs> that nigga going through something. Oh, my God. I, I, I have some vivid memories of, of Okay, yeah. okay. See? I'm glad to hear that. And guess where they was at? Where they was Lord at? have mercy. Full <laughs> circle. Hey, man, welcome back to the 85 <laughs> South Show. <laughs> we ain't here with Erica Banks. She got Justin all in his feelings. Hey. This nigga sitting back gazing off. What my boy got oh going my on? God. I'll take a shot and come back to life in a minute, bro. Okay, okay. Have you won, my boy? I'm gonna have to. Now see, if I wouldn't have brought him, we wouldn't have had the reference to the show. Right. None of that. See we. This is a this is a group session right here. Yeah. They're yeah, cute. I, I fuck with the show. I actually, since I'm here, I, I have it being recorded at the house right now. For real? Damn, I promise I'm not bullshit. Because I don't like commercials, so I like this. Okay. Because the good way. shit come up, and then they want to take a nigga yeah. three, four minutes. You got to go sit there. Yeah, I'm going to go goddamn by Allstate right. and a uh, uh, Miracle Whip, bitch. Put it back on, these motherfuckers. Yeah, I want to see that. Now, listen, the women taking over hip-hop right now. They taking over the whole rap game. They dropping diss records, and they beefing online and everything, man. When did the ladies take over the rap game? It's been that, you know, the girls are running for a minute. That's what I'm saying. Like, it ain't really been no dudes dropping music like this. It's been a drought over there. The girls been doing it. Mm. Where have you been? I ain't been nowhere. Oh, I ain't been saying? nowhere. I'm asking you. I'm asking the, I'm trying to get some insider information. What you mean? Like, what I got? Like, did y'all have a meeting or something? And y'all just like, <laughs> did y'all get on a group chat? Was it? Like, no, Instagram? you know, Boy. we just wake up and... Life just be happening. Life just be happening. <laughs> Life just be happening. It started with these beats, bro. I'm telling you. The beats? A while ago. Yes. What with you these mean? beats. Like that Kaya song. Uh, Don't Trust No Nigga. That beat so goddamn hard. So it's hard. hard for a even nigga today, not to want to hear I that shit, dog. Oh, I don't like even song? like the word. I like the beat. You I'll like, play it for like the, the first. Words? Nope. About the first oh. 16 seconds, I start the bitch over again. Okay. Cause when, Cause if I guess you listen boom, to Kai, boom, how do boom, 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 I start yeah. over again. That shit, man, it's just the way that goddamn beat drop. They should have gave that. I don't know who made yeah. that, but they supposed to gave that to a nigga. What he won't tell you is he can rap that whole song. No, I don't know. You rap? He, he won't. Yeah. He can rap that one though. You think? He know that shit. Man, I don't know that goddamn. That nigga know. He don't. You know that song? I don't know. I I know the song, but I don't know the song. Nah, you don't. Know he know I don't know it. I don't know it. Okay. I don't know, I don't know the shit. He know it. He funny. I know what everybody else will know. Cause they play. I know the hook. I know the verse too. Oh, well, I don't know. 
Yes. I can't rap that bitch. been out here saying this shit it. forever. Don't trust what? no nigga. Yeah, that's yeah. shit. That's still a thing. You can't trust no women neither shit. I mean, you can trust a woman before you can trust a man. Uh, and, uh, yep. To do what? That's what I want Just in know. general. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't suggest that you of be out here he trusting disagrees. any fucking body. Trust well, yourself. I'm telling you. <laughs> trust trust yourself. your motherfucking self. I'm telling you. You, put, you out here putting trust in people who don't even fucking like you. <laughs> Yeah. So, <laughs> I don't With suggest the, you do that. At the, yeah, at all. <laughs> so why you why you think it's easier to trust a woman than it is? Um, the obvious. Men what? just men are liars. Women are liars. Yes, yeah, true. But men are liars to a, a higher degree, you know. And I just can't seem to stop ever. Nah. <laughs> yeah. The funny part as a man hearing a woman say that men are liars. <laughs> Yes. See, men is that are... most of the time we are not lying. <laughs> that shit not true. is hilarious. It's the shit that they think true. we lying about, that's the shit we tell them the truth about. They they put thought into their lying, which up, make fellas. it worse. That, that well, makes y'all... I mean, shit, y'all... if you gonna do it, you gotta... Nah. That means this shit is premeditated. You was thinking of the lie no. before you even had you some shit to do. You go out your way to get a lie together. That's that's some <laughs> sick shit. You call and involve three other motherfuckers who ain't <laughs> probably lying today. That's no, all the when shit. they get together is practice yeah, how they man. gonna put the lie together. But we the, we the one, we the worst. Absolutely. <laughs> Y'all lie about it. just anything. Think about it. Hold up, let me ask you a question. Go ahead. What's the best lie a man ever told you? The best lie? The best lie. No. I'm talking about this motherfucking lie so good, you might use this when you got them self. <laughs> the best lie? The best lie a nigga ever told you. That's what I want to know. I'm telling my nigga had you believing this shit all the way. The oh. be- he got your ass on that one. <laughs> and you didn't find out that later on. Yeah, please. Get that. Yeah, oh, what? my God. The best she lie I would have to ever. really sit and think about that. No, I would really have to sit and think about that. Just um, what's the best lie a woman ever told you? The best lie a like woman what? ever told me. Um, wow. It was a miscarriage. <laughs> Whoa. This bitch done went to see the hit man. That, oh see, God. that's where your trouble come from. <laughs> Part of it, but... Uh, I, I, I shouldn't have asked you. Yeah. I knew it was going to get dark. Hey. That shit too dark, bro. Damn, I don't even want to re- rebuttal that. Hey. You ain't got another one? What's second best, The then? second best don't, don't Don't make it dark. Shit, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh... Oh, boy. So my ex gonna be in Florida with his homeboy at the same time we going, but we ain't gonna see each other. Oh. Y'all seen each other? Oh, she done planned the whole trip. <laughs> she got you with the whole trip. She ain't get shit. Mm-hmm. Because you got to be a damn fool to believe some shit like that. Right. Yeah. Oh, my God. But it was a good lie. It was a good try. Oh, okay. Like, you trying to let me know ahead of time because, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think the best lie the bitch ever told me is one time I ended up driving the bitch and her side nigga to the crib. Ooh, ooh. No. No, 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 no. I don't remember the details. It was so long ago in my journey. But, yeah, it, it happened. What did you find out about this shit, bro? I want to know this. How did I find out about it? Yeah, that he was a side nigga. Because it was a drunk lie. Mm-hmm. That ain't going to never hold up. The story just started falling apart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. God. It felt, it, it, it seemed random at first. Just like a happenstance chance. Like, I know this nigga. And all right, bet. So, yeah. All right, cool. And then when I'm putting the play together, I'm like, I'll be Got me again. Got me again. That's a dirty bitch. <laughs> no, that's, it's. We never, so we, some of that shit you just charge to the game yeah. and not the people. Yeah. It's just part of the game. Yeah. What you mean? I done seen, seen it all. Cause she laughed because I done seen it all and I done done so much. What, what, what's some shit? You, you still ain't share. told me the best lie a nigga ever told you though. I mean, cause niggas just lie about everything. I don't ever think, I don't think it was a best lie. Oh. Because I okay, always know when lie? it's, a memorable lie? Yeah, give up that. I'm one of the most memorable <laughs> <lie>. <laughs> Original, too. 
<laughs> oh my God, y'all. <laughs> Oh my God, I don't even want to share. I don't want to share. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lies we're sharing. Just yeah. understand and know niggas be lying, and that's the bottom line. All right, what's even the best, y'all. What's the best lie you told? Yeah. The best lie I told? Yeah. She probably don't want to share because she still you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> During the low time. I don't want to share my The either. best lie you keep that motherfucker. You, you know what I'm saying? You got that motherfucker still. Yeah. You probably just used it. I probably did. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He know what's going on. Damn. Yeah. Because I done been lying to. Do y'all still lie? At y'all big age? No, ain't no need to lie for what? Okay. That's how I be saying. That's what I just told you. Y'all think we be lying, but we don't. Right. We don't think that for no reason. Shit. Mm-mm. Other niggas, <clears throat> like that nigga that told you that line that you won't share with us, yeah. he'll fuck it up for the net, li- net nigga. You'll think he no, lying and he telling the truth. That nigga's a mastermind. <laughs> who? The one who told, who told the best lie? He'll never get caught. It'll she, take she years. <laughs> Okay. Take years for that nigga. She, ain't, she won't that. even share that motherfucker. I mean, no. Did you know he was lying when he was lying, or did you find out later on? Did you have to I do it? I felt like he was lying, but I didn't know he was lying, so I just believed it, and then later I felt I found out he was lying. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, you know, niggas gonna be niggas. That's what y'all do. So y'all gonna be you y'all. Sound hurt. That's what y'all do. I'm not hurt. You sound hurt. Why would you? He made everybody hurt. <laughs> that what y'all this do. Therapy. Y'all gonna this be y'all. Not this therapy. Y'all this gonna therapy. be y'all. <laughs> Kurt, Eric. Oh my God. I'm let them hurt. lies go. Every nigga you meet from here on out, just assume he's telling the truth. Hell no. Don't investigate. That's the biggest Just take it problem. for face value. Hell no. So, I what, never is, what if a nigga is really being 100 with you and you? She ain't gonna I'll like that, that shit either. I don't know that. They ain't gonna like I'll that feel shit either. That. Yeah, like, it's energy. I'm an energy person. I'm going to know that. You're you an know? energy person. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just be saying shit. What the fuck? I'm person. I am, for real. <laughs> That's a real thing. So you just got lying energy when you a nigga? Yeah. You can tell a nigga just fit me. Am I lying yes. to you right now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the way you read this shit. Oh, if you don't believe this, oh wait till I really get elaborate. <laughs> you still ain't gonna share no lie. No. Not yours, not theirs. No. Okay, what about one you heard that, because you, know, you know I know one of your homegirls gonna hit you up before and say, girl, you ain't gonna believe this lie this nigga just told me. Uh, I mean, me and my homegirls really don't be gossiping about, you know. I find that hard hearing. to fucking believe. No, no, no. Everybody don't gossip about their situations and what they be doing. Well, fellas, I suggest... Not, you not with certain niggas. Certain just niggas don't get talked about sometimes. Well, I, you know, I, I certain niggas just... Well, I, I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, okay. I'm you feel what I'm saying right there? Yeah. Okay, yeah. This shit, be, this shit wouldn't even be interesting if motherfuckers told the truth all the time. No. Hell no. Nah. I Keep never lying. tell the truth. Keep lying. That shit be exciting sometimes. Especially, like, the <laughs> only thing I don't like about... I never tell the truth. I'm a real liar. No. Nah. Just don't tell lies that sound like lies. The fucking heart. <laughs> Make up some shit. At least put some thought into the lies you tell. Blow my mind oh my with God. some new shit. Don't tell me these old ass lies. Don't my tell I fell asleep. My phone died. Yeah. Such and such. Yeah. But like, man, fuck all them kind okay. of lies. Okay, Come on so with some new shit. All right. We in the future. What's your? What That's would be the your? AI for some lies. What would be your your lie instead of I fell asleep? If you know you was out doing some other shit, so if, if I'm not asleep, yeah, like what's your? Uh-huh. Not even yours. You some, looking I'm for up. some new lies? Don't tell, don't help him. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, oh. don't help him. Oh, yeah, I don't know about I was saying what lies I be telling then. I was trying to right get it out you, but you you, you short, yeah. you short. I was trying to get it out you. Yeah, you, you crazy? Yeah, I be telling my whole. Look. I mean, you can give us one shit. Everybody. Then I can't use it, I'm always void. She ain't got no throwaway lies to give you. I don't. I don't lie. Because I don't got that meaning, because I don't be lying, for real. You just said it. never Not tell too the truth. Thank, appreciate it, bro. That's a lie. You just said never tell the truth. <laughs> and felt that shit. Never <laughs> tell the truth. <laughs> exactly. You let her talk oh long God. enough, the lie gonna come out. Don't. That's what I'm saying. Fuck all that. <laughs> I'm trying to get it out of her. She won't share it. Oh, my God. She probably got The it. truth gonna get you fucked up every time. It is. Y'all said that in the beginning. Ain't that what y'all was saying? What? Y'all Sometimes was saying lies, y'all don't be telling people the truth. People like, y'all tell think y'all tell women the truth. truth. No, nah, we didn't say that. Crazy. That's what you heard. No, that's what y'all said. No, 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 no. She said... You said you don't tell women the truth because... <clears throat> 
you be protecting them. Ain't that what you said? Yeah, sometimes, crazy. sometimes, sometimes you gotta lie. He say all the time. He said keep sometimes. Her, he you said most keep of the time. Her, you got like a lie. A crushing motherfucking spirit. Give like, her an example, the truth bro, because she give me an example. Give her an example, because she thinking you talking about lying about where you at, what you're doing, and being faithful. What, what kind of yeah? What kind of lies you be having to tell? That's motivate motivational lies. Oh, no. like even when your girl telling you some bullshit and you know it ain't gonna work, you gotta still support and you gotta mm -mm. lie to her and be like, hell yeah, baby, you can do anything you want to do. No one is some And bullshit. I'm gonna be right that there with you to support. And then you know that the, you can tell by the energy she got, she don't believe in this shit either. You're like, yep, she'll be through fucking with this shit in two weeks. Wait, but oh. you just, but. <clears throat> These are, but you can't be like, that shit's dumb. Don't do that dumb ass shit. Cause you trying to be a better nigga. So okay. you just be like, babe, whatever you need. Look, if you want to go out here and cut all the grass and grow some corn back here, corn don't even grow out here. But if this your dream, I'm gonna fucking help you. We finna yeah, have a whole farm. We got a we got a yard from fence to fence. We finna plant vegetables and we gonna eat all the food. All the food we eat, we gonna grow it. Even if you don't believe in the bullshit, you gotta let her know that you support it. Okay, <clears throat> that I understand. Like when your girl go get a crazy ass hairstyle, every man who ever been in a relationship know that oh, yeah. about once every three months, your girl gonna do some crazy shit and she gonna have some shit you don't like. <laughs> and you just gonna have to act like you like it cause she like it. These are the type of lies that make niggas good niggas. Oh, okay. That was kind of like the cool. truth with them, though, so they right. won't do it again. Right. Yeah, that was kind of like the cool. You got to tell the truth with that one, though. No, you don't. Because I don't want her to do it again. She going to do it anyway. <laughs> All right. She going to do it. Bro, my girl got a fucked up house now. We don't she go nowhere. You ain't going to like every last one of them, I don't like them, that bro. shit. I'm telling you. Is you going to be paying for that? I do pay for that. Yeah. I pay for everything. And then, uh -huh. and then after about three, four times of her doing the shit, your way she gonna just get, mix it up, come home with some crazy shit, and then you gonna be like, what the? Ooh. But I like simple shit. I like. That's you like side work with the bang? I don't know what's the name of it. That's why I pointed at it. They don't like simple shit. They that's too boring. They gonna have like to. They shit. gotta you mix it up like and do and do a whole shit. new flip on the shit. shit you ain't gonna like all of them, bro. You right. I like that simple <clears> shit. Them the lies you tell to keep that shit going. I dig it though. Right. You do people. When she be like, so can you feel? When she be like, you still mad? And they be like, nah, I'm trying, tripping off that shit. Nigga, he lying then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga really want to test some shit up. He don't know uh, nothing. You else seen the eye roll? Like that, that was some <laughs> shit before she pulled up. What? <laughs> yeah. No. So can you feel like if a nigga or anybody lying to you? Let's say if you ask somebody you like this outfit, and then they be like, yeah. But they really don't, and you feel that shit. Uh, People I, be lying you when that, you ask them that anyway. I'm not gonna know if, if it's about an outfit. Certain shit I'll know. Oh, yeah. When like, people you, say certain outfit, shit when you ask them that, yeah. they let yeah. you know they ain't, they ain't fucking with it. Oh, man, how this look? That shit look good on you. Oh, yeah. They, they, you know, <laughs> I wouldn't wear it. Oh, now, they don't even have to say that. No, you did your thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. You right. I mean, you been wearing bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> That's you. What make you think today <laughs> is better? Yeah, that's you. What? No, you did your motherfucking thing, bro. I see you, my nigga. Yeah, that's all there, yeah. That's, that's, that mean that shit right on par for you. Yeah, I dig it's it. It's on your level of bullshit. <laughs> I dig it. We seen it happen to all the greats. Mm -mm -mm. Absolutely. So I was asking you earlier, do you um, ever go back and watch any other episodes? Because I, uh, you like me, do you record the shit when you ain't at home? Or, like, uh, If I'm at home I, and I catch it, I catch it. Yeah. But I don't like record it and go back and watch it and sit through and just go through the episodes. Because so I mean, I know what's going on, you know? Yeah. But if I'm at home and I ain't doing shit, I'll cook it, me and my homegirls will watch it. Yeah. But. So they don't chop it up too much differently from what y'all? Um, We film for like hours, but then you know the episodes be like, uh, eight hour, hour yeah. and it's like 15, yeah. not even 15 minutes, maybe like two minutes per scene. So they really chop it up a lot. Like a lot of shit we don't even use for real, but that's the like, the job part of it, you know? Yeah. And it's like work. But yeah. You be cooking this shit? Yeah, I be cooking. What's your specialty? Baked chicken. Ooh. Yeah, with whatever size. Let me hear that recipe. I, I love it. I like the recipe. I, Cause I'm gonna give you mine. I bake it, I, I, I use oh, with baked chicken. I onions, like this shit. Yeah. Um, bell peppers. I got to. Um, red pepper, got to. seasoning salt, a little black pepper, a little chicken broth. Um, and then I like the gravy, so I use like cream of mushroom. Yeah. And I like cook it in the skillet and then like put it over in the pan. Bake it and that should be good as fuck. I dig. I eat it with mashed potatoes, 
and either green beans or mashed potatoes and cabbage. I like green beans and rice. Green beans and rice is good too. Yeah, I like rice. Rice be real See, good with some gravy. Mm -hmm. I know, I can tell. Yeah. You be I'm cooking? A, yeah, I, do I? I'm a, a rutabaga eating. Oh, okay. Rutabaga. You know, <laughs> rutabaga and turnips and. All that shit. Where y'all find this? Okay, you said you country. I just told you I'm from a place where they ain't got but 800 people. And they got dirt seven roads. Seven out of nine, Some not no go. who watch this shit gonna have to pause this, look up what a goddamn rutabaga is. You know what, what is a rutabaga that? is, don't you, bro? Okay, cool. You don't know what a rutabaga is? I grew up with oh my, my great grandma, though. I'm the baby mother. Everybody, they gonna be like, nigga, what the fuck is, what kind of car is a rutabaga? It is the South, uh, what? Let me see. Um... Don't even worry about it. All right, cool. Just let them Google it if they want to. Please. I can't even spell it. It's R U T A B A G A. Wow. I think I spelled that shit right. See what I'm saying? You're making it worse. You're just making it worse. I mean, I think I spelled shit right. Somebody. Somebody gonna, they gonna forever call comment. you rutabaga, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how petty my fans are. What? People who watch this show tonight, you just rutabaga, nigga. That I've seen a, worse. That sounds like an old nigga name anyway. Rudabaga, yeah, that fucked up. Uh, I mean, cool. I was down to Mr. Rudabaga's the other day. And... <laughs> sound like nigga that sells snacks and, and <laughs> fix lawnmowers and washing machines and shit. You know Rudabaga say uh, they, they letting some people go this week. <laughs> you go and lay down, Rudabaga supposed to pick me up tomorrow and go fishing. They pulled him over down there by Rutabaga house and had him stretched out, pulled all his shit Yeah, out you know, they found them people over there behind <laughs> Rutabaga's house, don't you? That <laughs> sounds like one of them old men your grandma can't stand. Oh, Rutabaga full of shit. <laughs> all he do is lie and steal. <laughs> that motherfucker ain't gonna do okay. nothing. Oh, lying ass Rutabaga. Freaky motherfucker. The goddamn freak, we that's what he is. We done took Rutabaga from a plant uh, eating plant to a motherfucking old nigga name. Mm hmm. That's one of them names you don't want nobody to know that's your first name. Oh, Rudy Baker Simmons. Oh, so that ain't the nickname. That's the first name. The nigga, first name. Oh, Rudy my Baker. God. Oh. <laughs> I'm thinking that the nigga nickname. <laughs> they put this on this nigga birth certificate. Rudy Baker. What's the last name? Erica Banks. What's next? I always say, what's not? But, um. What's not? Yeah, but everything. I got a tour coming up. What's um, the name of it? I got a project coming up. I actually don't know the name of it. Oh shit. Yeah, it's yeah. me and two other girls. Okay. I'm excited, but I don't know the name of it. But we probably at the end of putting it together, so it's supposed to be coming up soon. So I'm excited about that. Um, I'm getting ready to drop another project, drop another single. I've been dropping freestyles lately, and they've been eating that up. And yeah, yeah. it's time for another project, so I'm excited. Morning. Yeah. I'm loving these freestyles where it just really? be a fucking microphone and some niggas at, outside, all that yeah. shit. Yeah, I mean, that's the new thing, you know. I like that shit. Yeah. That shit taking off, man. I feel like it's a whole, it's it's a, it's the internet version of like a mixtape type run. Like, yeah, it is, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Especially that now that the platforms is getting built up so people are actually getting views and it's actually working. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right. Loving that. Like I said, the women done took over the game. They dropping oh. hit after hit. Yep. Oh. I don't know what's next, bro. The rap game is in shambles right now. <laughs> we gonna have to buy notes from the women otherwise. <laughs> shit, yeah. we gonna be in the club they listening to uh, all this shit. Yeah, our favorite rapper's not making music right now. What's what's going on? I don't know. They taking a break. I don't know. I don't know. Who's your favorite rapper? Me. Uh, you rap? Hell yeah. Let me hear something. What you wanna hear? Ooh. <laughs> Surprise me. Both of y'all do a freestyle. How about it? I shit. I fuck shit up. She like, who? Like, I do that shit. Like, this is me. For free? Oh. It's called freestyle. But the style ain't free. What the style? The style never be free. This is the sauce. See, you picking up what I'm putting down. You feel me? This is motherfucker sitting there watching, trying to see. If you even gonna use that beat to get that you flow again, saying? they wanna know. They want that shit. They want that shit. Yeah, you right, mm -hmm. you right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you know, niggas okay. be lying, though. They be reusing Niggas do be lying. But I think catching. that's one of the best places to tell your lies, though, in Where? the rap. Because oh. when I rap, you be lying, I don't be rap? keeping it real. Hell yeah. What? I don't want to hear that real well, life shit all the time. So it, I get real colorful and shit when I'm rapping. Because oh. I got to make you feel like you're a comic book with this shit. 
I don't nobody okay. I want to hear about no reality. Reality is raw. Okay. This ain't 79. Broken glass everywhere. <laughs> no, no, I don't nobody want to hear about the struggle no goddamn more. I'm fake balling, selling dope, I'm a pimp, all you that. Private balling? jets, all that. Why would you try to sell that to Man. people? Everybody else do it. Because that's what people want to hear. Lies? Yes. In a song. The colorful song. lies. <laughs> the best kind. Dream. Oh, my God. Motherfuckers out story. here living real life every day. Entertainment is supposed life. to be the escape. I feel that. You don't want to be entertained by somebody just... doing the exact same shit as you. I'm struggling shit. every day trying to make it. <laughs> Nigga, me too. Turn that bullshit off, man. <laughs> I want to hear that shit. I want to hear that shit. Put that other shit on, man. What motherfucker with dancing to? I don't want y'all that goddamn... Hard life struggle shit, man. Come on, man. My bitch didn't let my dick ain't hard. Come on, man. I want to hear all that goddamn real life shit, bro. Turn me up in the headphone, nigga. Me and some other shit. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's called, like, it's music for different moods, my nigga. But do y'all catch, like, rappers reusing they freestyle? Yeah, yeah. You better. Yeah, That's the money. Huh? That's yeah. the money. I said, did they catch them? Like, you know how we yeah, catch Ain't nobody hiding it. But she yeah. said, like, using the flow again. That's your shit. You but, created it. But on camera, though. I know that. So you should be able to use it again. You, you can. Right. You can really do whatever so, you want to do. You can do right, whatever the fuck saying, you want. So you but somebody else going to do it. Or some, yeah. They going to come right behind you. They I like that part, nigga. Sample that. Send that motherfucker check to them get out of my face. No, they can't be in the video. This shit too hard. I'm on here by myself. <laughs> nigga, it's me. <laughs> You don't want to fuck with me? Oh nah, I just, I'm going I'm to send you the money. Just leave me the fuck alone. That's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, no, it ain't, but sometimes I'm going to be doing up, too bro. much. Sweet. I want to be in the video. Doing what? This, 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 you do hear the song? Nigga. You don't have a part. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need you for this one, big dog. Take the money. <laughs> nah, nigga, I want to be in the video. <laughs> I want to ride in the car with you when they come on. I want to do some of that balling and shit y'all and, doing. And, <laughs> and I y'all wanna, on there, you and Snoop Dogg and Dog. I want to smoke a bitches. with y'all. I want some of that rap weed. <laughs> Give me some of them motherfucking Gucci's with all that shit, some and, chrome heart, all that shit. And, and tell Snoop to call me nephew and, when the music goes. And, 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 and come get me. I'll be ready to go about 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, it be doing too much. Oh, my God. That's how your friends be? Nah. No. My friends are cool as folk. They cool? I know some of the coolest people in the world. Do you? Absolutely. And I want to... you absolutely right. Oh, okay. Even the lame-ass people I know cool as fuck. I know Maybe like 12 cool-ass cool lame motherfuckers. Yeah, they be oh, real cool. Yeah, I know all kinds of people. Mm. I know some people who think it's cool to be lame. Like, they'll never <laughs> try to be cool, but they cool with the lame shit that they do. But that's what I is. Yeah. I got a strange ability to connect with people. Mm. Yeah, I can, like, see their soul and shit. You can see their soul? Yeah. With your eyes? No, nah, it's not even lies. It's like, even if I'm on bullshit, God's still using me for something else. Right. Yeah. So it's not like he want me to not interact with these people based on whatever the fuck they going through. Sometimes he put people around you so you can learn from them. Right. Yeah. And then you can show them some shit, too. Mm -hmm. Like, when you get around broken people, you're supposed to show them love. Right. So they'll know what that shit feel like. Because that's right. a lot of people don't even know how to recognize it. It's deep. I have it to tell is. you no, later. Yeah, yeah but see, that's my mission in life and shit. God had right. told me to do it, so I'm doing it. Sweet. Okay. On that's a mission. A beautiful thing. Yeah, uh -huh. so Everybody really, I'm just like, the plug. You can sense that shit. You're you an energy person. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. You just make me sound crazy earlier. No, I didn't. I'm, you an energy person. I'm just saying you the plug. Right. You get it? Mm -hmm. Plug energy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bro, I got you. I don't even think she believe you, dog. She I don't. She think that. I'm lying. She I said that already. I think you're lying. I would not lie. All right. <laughs> well, Erica, I hate to tell you this, but niggas ain't never going to stop lying. I know. Right. Women ain't gonna gonna but this the one. thing, though. Pick somebody who, like, you like hearing they lies. When they lies is entertaining, keep oh, them around. I like hearing they lies. Because they let, let you know that they care about you. Because, like oh. I said, they telling original lies. You know how hard it is to come up with a good one? 
You don't I even do. want to share them. See, that, that's how I you don't. Know. See? <laughs> you got you you got some lies that you just won't even like. If you ain't being lied to, you won't even hear it. You think? You won't share it. Well, no. If you're not lying to the motherfucker, won't nobody hear them lies. I am. See that, but when they play the clip, they are gonna make it seem like we defending lying. All we saying Y'all is are. there no, are no, some no, lies no, 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 that no, can no, help no. you. I don't condone lying at all okay. because I'm honest. That's what I'm telling you. Oh. Well, that's a lie. Let's well, talk a lie. Earlier today. What kind of lie? A lie in general. Because I it might, true. it might have been a lie to spell somebody feeling he lied like on love this. He did. Yeah. Oh, see. He said he wasn't hurt, and clearly he hurt. So he lied about that. Yeah. That nigga going through it on the inside. Right. He don't know how to express it. Yeah. <clears throat> oh my God. Hey, that was a lie. <laughs> that was a lie. No, it that ain't. Was a lie. Oh, I'm older than him. Tickets. I see where you hiding it at. Don't no nigga just gaze off? Yeah. That's a nigga What you think he was thinking about? Don't niggas don't just gaze the fuck off. <laughs> where gl- and your eyes have that glut, that, like they glaze. <laughs> when a nigga look to somewhere that ain't even there, that's how you know a nigga going through some shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, it's life. You know, it is. And then they say shit like that. You see, that's those it's are the life. little band-aids life. that you put on it. Oh, that's life. Just how it Erica, is. Look, we're talking about Erica and her lies here. <laughs> then he switched the subject to go another one. Oh, my God. These are all trauma responses. Hey, look. You need to learn how to identify them. No, I know, but, you know, like you say, it's life. It's life. You know. See, she's sitting over here because she's still sitting on lies. She ain't going to share them. She's going to feed them. Why out. you want to know my lies so bad? Because, so so you can use them? No, I don't lie. That's what I'm saying to you. I might yes, want to know do. what I hear. I'm like, man, he's he really he so used Erica, to abuse. You the same yes. He's not used to being around women who won't lie to him. So he, he wants you to tell him a yeah, lie he to... so he can feel... Nah, that's that's his abandonment oh issues. Oh, my God. Erica, think, please tell I, this Erica man a lie. Erica might be a uh, habitual liar. That's why she won't no, say I'm that No, I'm not. Shit. He's oh trying to God. provoke you to do it. He, he is. He won't be to tell him. You know what that's he's called? Tried to that's manipulation. That's not. That he's a masochist. He, oh, my he, God. He enjoys being abused. Oh, my God. Is that what it's called? Yeah, masochism. Is that a real word? That's a real it word. Is. I've never heard of it. He's a masochist. <laughs> I don't enjoy being abused. Yes, he does. He's. You see how he's asking for it? He's, oh my he's God. demanding it at this point. Right. He's trying to provoke you into abusing him. No. Not abusing him. Yeah. No, it's no, a no, lying no, no, to no. him. Exactly. That's the form of it's well, verbal abuse. You think lying is verbal abuse? Yeah, I think it's it mental is. abuse. Yeah, but how does it get there? Verbal. Because you keep doing it. Exactly. You see? Oh. She skipped it right over there. <laughs> she swooped. Yeah, it went right it's through the swoop. Swoop. Nah, it's swoop. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. It's swoop. Okay. Nah. But I told you this was therapy. Is that what this is? It's a therapeutic relaxation podcast to let people know that Erica Banks is here to talk that shit with us at the 85 South Show. Right. Still making them hits. Absolutely. Still got them doing the bus hit. Wide open challenge. Still on oh. TV arguing. Still doing a motherfucking thing. Still wearing a chain with her name on it and shit. Oh. Still swooping on these bitches. All yeah. that. This is what this is. This a flex. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, all of that is definitely going on. Yeah. And I wish you drank so you could take a shot, but you don't. Uh, but, like, okay. what, for what, though? For the enjoyment. So, you see how you trying to abuse me? See? <laughs> oh. So, what's the word for a motherfucker who... That's what I'm saying. Abuse? I'm telling you the truth. I don't drink. You what? don't believe it. It's a lie. You don't like the yeah. truth. I don't believe it. All right. No, no, does it make you feel bad to drink and I'm not? It don't make me feel bad. You think I'm feeling left out? Yeah. I'm not, though. You sure? I'm telling you. I'll fuck around and take a shot with you. Next thing you know, I'm in my feelings like this nigga. Why would you be in your feelings? Because the liquor might take me somewhere I ain't been. What if I get to thinking about some shit? Next thing you know, I'm the nigga gazing on. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Oh, I'm- my God. <laughs> Cute. I'm good though. You <laughs> said he good. You are? I'm good. You good enough to walk around and be around people and shit, but when you by yourself, when you by yourself, that shit be hurting. Oh my God. You do not know that man life. Yes, the fuck I do. I know that nigga real name. <laughs> I know his first, middle, and last name. <laughs> he said he said he good. That nigga sister followed me on Instagram. 
<laughs> oh <my> <laughs> I know how to get in touch with his crazy. people if I need to. Like, this ain't okay. just a nigga I work with. This nigga done been to my house and kicked it in and watched motherfucking Judge Judy four houses ago. That nigga picked my son up every damn day from school. That's my son godfather, for real. I really, we done went and bought guns and everything. This is my real partner. Oh, okay. But that's how I know when you, you know what I'm saying? I just, yeah. you know, I just want, I wanted you to lie so I can see if I still detect that shit good. But you it, can't. Oh. You can't. You can't. You crazy. Man, please. I don't believe nothing anyway. She already told you the best lie, and you ain't even catch it. What, that she don't lie? That she can't tell you. She could, <laughs> but she don't want to be the motherfucker gazing on that lie gonna trigger some other shit. Then she gonna start drinking some That's why she wouldn't tell the lie Then next she thing you know, she'll fuck around and be yeah, the swung on one of us. Shit. Hey, look, I, well. Y'all don't know that thing. Hey, look, it's, but it's adding up, though. And what you, does it add up to be? I don't know, but you giggle every time Lowe's hit a, 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 a spot. What spot? The I don't truth. Know. You okay. laugh at the truth. <laughs> Bam. <Die. laughs> What did you say that was the truth that I left? Everything. Yeah. What? No. Okay. Y'all crazy. All right. I take everything serious. That's Ooh. the problem. None of this shit is serious. <laughs> Nothing. That's when you go, you fuck, you fuck around and take life too serious, that shit will stress you out. Um, if you let it. But that's what happened when you start taking shit serious, that you'll be you stressed it. out. <laughs> None of this shit is real. Anything, everything is fake? Anything might happen at any given moment. That's just life in general. That's how life goes and shit. So we just got to enjoy the moments. That's why yeah. we ain't sitting here just that. So who's your favorite rapper? Top five. Man, who gives a fuck? How you act when people talk to you for real? Can you yeah. interact with niggas when they going through it? Yeah. Well, you didn't know you was going to come here and he was going to be heartbroken. I didn't. <clears throat> but look at you, it. just your presence. You helping this man express himself. Because if it would just been a nigga here, he would be like, man, fuck that shit. Turn up. Drink the liquor. <laughs> like that blunt. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Anything could have happened. Well, I'm glad. That's the beautiful thing. You out here saving lives, dog. That's good. Don't even I know it. I, I, I appreciate it. Yeah, you know? I'm trying to do that every now and then. Yeah, so next time you in the studio and you talking that shit, just think of it's some niggas like us out here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just like him. Just like us. You got some shit you going to drop coming up? Absolutely. Yep. Like how soon can we expect a new Erica Banks project? If you need us in the video single. to pull up just a single? with in a vert or something, let me know. Okay. Like you can have the niggas you want in the video, then right. we just pull up and then actually be the niggas y'all like in the video. Right. You know how it's like y'all got the video niggas for the image and right. then the, the type then, of niggas y'all, y'all be fucking go. with in real life. Yeah, we'll oh, pull up. Oh, like, oh, Get your right. ass in this car. Yeah. You out here twerking and shit. Put your, get, get in the goddamn car. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't nobody asked you to do all that shit. Yeah. Yeah, oh play God. Jelly's boyfriend or something like that. I mean, that be outside cool. the club. Nigga, I'm with him. I'm oh with him. Oh, my God. Hold on, nigga. Hold on, nigga. Oh, my then God. Then you stop me from taking my hood. I don't want you. Hey, oh, yeah. go get her. Oh, my God. I see that shit, bro. I got to call you for this. Man. I'm going to call you. Come I'll on. make sure I call you in advance so you can come do your that shit. No, that ain't no Hollywood lie. No, that's for real. I wouldn't even lie. Now that, I'm talk, look, let me put the same together. Lie, what? Look, what? you and the nigga that you like, right? Y'all coming down the steps, holding hand. I whip up in the vert. Oh Hop my out God. with the motherfucking, yeah, I mean. I'm going to act like I don't know you. Then he split. He think I'm about to chase him. But I'm just I'm like, babe, why you got me out here doing this shit? You got oh me out here doing God. this shit again. Hey, I'm, I'm telling like, you, hey, hey, Eric, I'm telling you, hey. You hear this shit? You hear this shit? I'm with you. Then you get in the car, I'm driving the vert, but you rapping the whole shit, talking big shit, but we beefed out because I just caught you with the nigga. Yeah. So I'm just riding. Like, we ain't, you just do the whole video, spotlight on you, I'm just the nigga. <laughs> you hear this shit, bro? What? She said it twice. I'm mad, like, I don't know you. Like, she done been through this shit before. There she go. I'm telling you, it's going to come out. You said you what, what you said, let them talk, bro. Oh, my God. I'm just now telling you. Now you picking up on the shit. Hey. Now you picking up on the shit. So you ain't never had that act like you don't know a nigga before because he was doing too much while you was doing your own things? Yeah, I have. Well, I appreciate it. Wow. That. You know. That make a nigga talk loud than a motherfucker. Oh, 
Niggas call your motherfucking whole middle name out. America Nicole Bank. You know you did. What if it's an old lady middle name? I don't know. <laughs> Erica Annette Banks. <laughs> Annette. Annette is crazy. <laughs> Erica Juanita, if you don't get your ass. <laughs> I would have been so mad at my mama. You don't want to real shit. You don't like Erica Juanita? Juanita? I'm talking shit, dog. Oh. Nine to eight, it shouldn't be no more Juanitas born. Oh my God. You from the hood? I'm from DeSoto. I'm just saying it's a hood in DeSoto? No. So DeSoto no. is not the hood in Texas, because no. it's damn sure Tell us about Georgia. DeSoto, Texas. No, it's a suburb. It's cute. It's cute. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's small. It's a lot of black people, though. That's hard. Yeah, or it's became a lot of black people over, like, the years. Mm-hmm. That's where I went to school at. That's where I grew up at. Uh, my mama still stay there. For real? Mm-hmm. Real DeSoto shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you crazy. But, yeah. It's for a nice area. You ain't been there? Have you been to Texas? I've been to a lot of places in Texas, but I haven't been to DeSoto, but I will. Okay. What's the what's Now I pull up to? and be like, y'all know Air? It's close to Dallas. It's close to downtown Dallas. It's like 15 minutes south of downtown Dallas. Dallas. Oh, okay. Dallas. Yeah, see, that's close by. I probably have been and didn't even know it. Didn't even know <laughs> it. You probably did. You probably passed through there. Because I haven't been to Dallas a whole lot of times performing out there at the, at the improv and at, um, in I Arlington and shit. You been to Arlington? Arlington? Hell yeah. Improv. That's crazy. My daddy's down running For real? He mm-hmm. probably came to the show. He probably did. He probably was out there. Yeah, he be having them hoes with him, so he probably did. He had them old women? Hoes with him. He be, he be having hoes with, with him? Yeah. Old hoes? Yeah. That was so... Oh Shout my out God. to all the old niggas. Shout out to my daddy. You sit on like you no pops. <laughs> Don't be hating no pops. No, I'm just saying. I know he wouldn't go nowhere by himself, so if you was ever see him oh, at the store, he definitely not going to be like... Yeah, he too old for that. I told him that though. He's not, though. He's too old for that. He needs to settle down and get married. For what? What's too old? Once you pass... Once you pass 45, you need to start getting serious, I feel like. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what if you're you 45 and you realize, hey, this is the life? No. I don't know. That's sad. Tried the other shit. No. I'm happier this way. That's sad. It's not sad. That means that... Everybody ain't built for that. Right. What? And we have, as a society, we got to embrace that, though. Everybody ain't built to just do that shit. Some people need to be, have the freedom to be with everybody if they want to. No, absolutely not. That's everybody disgusting. not built for one person. That's sad, and it's very... No, you just have to be with somebody who no understands that you're not There's built no for that. You said no self-control? Yeah, if you just can't... You know what I'm saying? At a certain age, it's like, okay. Hey, man, some people I mean, don't never want to be in no one-on-one situation. Some people want to be with somebody who understand that they might want to be with somebody else. Well, I don't understand that, so that's not for me. Well, you can't knock it. Yeah, I'm knocking it. You can knock it for you, but it, it exists. I mean, yeah, so a person who was into that just would not be for me. Yeah, but guess what? Mean? That's not the end of the world. Somebody <laughs> like that shit. Just not You me. just got to find your kind of freak that's going to match your pattern. Exactly, it. and it just ain't that yeah. kind of... And that's the, what people be afraid of, to keep it moving. Somebody going to oh. accept all your shit, they will gladly take the shit that you bring in <laughs> as opposed to the shit they have been dealing with. They be like, that's all you got? You ain't got no more shit? <laughs> I'm fucking with this. I got the perfect <laughs> amount of space <laughs> for this little bullshit that you bring in. Because this motherfucker I'm dealing with now got a whole house full of shit, and I want some of this shit out of here. <laughs> yeah. You bring your little bullshit. I can deal with that. That's the type of crazy you are. You get a little mad. You don't talk for an hour or two. Oh, I, I love can fuck that with shit. that. Yeah. I love that Ooh. anyway. Oh, you be expressing yourself and you talk about your fi- Get your ass in here. Girl, you mean to tell me you listen and shut the fuck up? Come on. Hey, back the whole truck up. I unload oh this God. shit by myself. I <laughs> do. That ain't Eric, so dumb. Erica went to stir in this fucking Sprite because she like, this is not me. This is not me. I'm just saying. <laughs> so you don't, so you don't, no. That's the What's trick. What's Just find somebody quiet. with the right amount of bullshit that I you mean, can deal with. That when you went to goddamn, you were like, hell no, nah, yeah. I'm going to go out But there. it's not always time. You, you, you no, you like can just listen to her shit. music and tell I she ain't going to listen. and I apologize like. You ain't going to listen. See, look, 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 look. She don't even give a fuck when she, what she say. She just want to insult your ass while y'all arguing. You just got to understand. You don't listen to the music? She tell that in the song. She not going to listen. Oh, uh, I said that she in the song? Basically. Oh. As a nigga, that's what I heard. That's what you got? Yeah. What song was it? She had all of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. 
Yeah. You already say she got a whole song talking about niggas be lying, lying ass nigga. They do be lying. You know what? I'm gonna go listen to it because that was she told that lie. Oh now my that, god! Oh, yeah. What that nigga did? I'm gonna go listen to it. <laughs> and if you put two and two she together, she did some shit too, though. No, I did not. She did. No, I didn't of do course. nothing. She did. I, I listened to the my song. Soul. I would not do that, for real. I don't do people bad. I'm really a nice person. All right. <laughs> for real. Ain't I? I don't know. What? I don't know. You That's nice right here. Yeah. Yeah. You might be a hellraiser when you leave. No, tomorrow, absolutely bro. not. You sure? I'm positive. They might be like, oh, hell, here come Erica. Don't say nothing. I don't no, say they shit. do not. Just, people do just, that. Let, don't her start her and start. let her start the conversation. No. God dang it. I'm not even like that. I'm real soft-spoken, laid back, you know? No, you're not. <laughs> you can't make us believe that yes, shit. Yes, I am. <laughs> All right. I'm... Yeah, until you're not. I mean, yeah. everybody has, like, a breaking point or, like, a, you know. Yeah. But I'm saying regularly, on an everyday basis, like, just every day. I'm nice. I'm so nice. I believe that. Yeah. And then sometimes the demon comes out. Yep. And, you know... People just shouldn't I'm the nut press the my buttons, off. you know. What are your buttons? Everybody can get mad. What yeah. are my buttons? Yeah, what are your buttons? Um, so people don't press them. <laughs> Erica probably got a lot um, of Well, the dry line that we've all been speaking about for the past hour. Who, just... not, who, who was this man, Erica? <laughs> he got you in a fucking I'm turmoil. Right. No, y'all asking me questions and I'm answering. Yeah, but you led that off with that. Yes. That's like the number one thing. Like, who want to... Who no. wants to deal with okay. that as an adult? Okay. All right. Um, so we'll, we'll that... Let it, we'll let it slide. Um, complaining as a man. Because why are you complaining you, as, a as a man? man, why would you ever... Why would you ever complain, complain. about anything? Yeah, why would you ever <laughs> like, voice your opinion about anything yeah, in the world? You probably. should let me be as the one. As a man, then. the world is perfect, and you have no right to say shit about <laughs> nothing. Oh, so it's like, you know... Especially if you were Erica Banks. Everything just right. You ain't got nothing to complain you about. You can't say shit about a motherfucking thing. It has to make sense if you do complain. But like Give just, me an example. Um You can't, bro. You, you I, just I, don't. I, I, I mean, no. <laughs> shut, just don't. Okay. All right. Just don't. Just don't complain. You know, when I you just do want to make sure just I don't complain. You shut the fuck up. I just be want to make sure <laughs> I ain't crazy, better bro. when you with Eric Yes, it okay. is. Nothing can go wrong. Nothing. You can't complain about shit. Nothing. What would you complain about? She said it like, don't sound right. Like, so in other words, you don't want a nigga to open up to you about it. Like, if so, no, going express on, you your don't... feelings, but don't complain. See, there's a difference. So, what's the difference? <laughs> Expressing your feelings is telling me how you feel. <laughs> Complaining is like telling you nagging. You <laughs> <laughs> or like, complain, just don't fucking complain. It's the same. Let okay. me do the so complaining. So, is it the tone? All right, all right, all right. The let tone me, okay. could be irritant let's too. Say, just... Okay, let's say I want to come to like, uh, hey, babe, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Tell me if I'm complaining or if I'm expressing myself. <laughs> okay. Hey, babe, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you got to express yourself too complaining. I be want to watch TV with you or whatever, but you always on your phone. You always talking to your homegirls or whatever. We don't get to spend no quality time. You know I work every day. You know why? Because you're telling her something she did. That's a complaint. Okay. You see? No, no. I was going to say, <laughs> that would be you just expressing how you felt about something. Right. You know what I'm saying? So what's the Until complaint? Until you say that shit three a more times. And now you're like, right. Okay, cool. <laughs> Hey, you did the shit again. Um, you doing it again. <laughs> you always uh, fucking complaining. Give me another one. Give me another one. I mean, it shit, was easier I'm, that because way. Because I'm trying to think of some shit where, you know, or a nigga, well, you can't just say a nigga complaining, but I don't complain about shit, so it's kind of hard. It's like. Of course you think that. You're not going to sit here and say you be complaining. I express myself. I don't complain. Okay. That's the same. That's why thing. I'm trying to find out from you if I'm complaining or if I'm expressing. What you just I said, though, you was just myself. yeah, you was expressing yourself. Right okay. There. Okay. Cool. Yeah, you was expressing. So yourself. So what is it? Is it the tone? So what if I can't be like, God damn, baby, <laughs> every time I be want to fuck or lay up, you, you on the phone. I, okay. Now that sounds like complaining. I think it's the way you say that's it. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta say, say it what different. I'm saying, is it the tone or what? You just bro? gotta say it different. Because okay. how it come off is how well, the person is gonna take it. You, you know? want examples for some shit. She said you should just never do. You shouldn't complain about nothing. Yeah. Can't have no complaints. At all. As a Basically. man. Because shit going to be good. The like, long the list of shit of the time, so you can't you have as a man. How you know if it's good for him if he can't tell you? Because I'm a great person. So I'd be damned. You see that? We you won't even that? have no, like, 
Okay. You got to do something to fuck up the energy. I'm not going to ever fuck up the energy, so. Ooh, you are perfect. Yeah, I know. No, 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 no. No, I'm not, I'm not perfect. But you got to do something to fuck up the I'm energy. not a vibe fucker up. Because Erica ain't going to fuck not, it up. She's not going to fuck it up. I'm not going to fuck it up. If you get fucked up, guess who did it? you got nothing to complain you about while you with her. <laughs> if the vibe get fucked up while you with Erica, you did, you did it. Because yes. she don't fuck up the vibe. Because I be chilling. Like, she I be, be having chilling. a great time. She um, go out her way to make sure you ain't going to complain about it. Yes, as long I as she chilling I'm and you person. ain't complaining, the vibe should be straight. Yeah, so the minute you complain, it's You know what this sounds like, Erica? What? Manipulation. No, but, no, no. But, you know, I went to public school and I drunk chocolate milk with my spaghetti. I did too. <laughs> All the way fucked up. <laughs> oh my God, so wrong with y'all. I know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I know. Okay, so, so you still, uh, what was it? What was it? You said not complaining. And what was the other one? What was the first one? Don't lie. Yeah, don't lie, don't complain. Don't complain. Um, and don't press me. I hate being pressed. Oh, you know what that means. Don't, don't ask, ask me about shit. shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, babe. Don't, don't who, you, who, me. who that is you just said, good night, babe, I love you too. Don't ask me who the fuck I'm talking to you in here like, on this phone. If it's Stop understood, complaining. I'm never going to ask you. Well, it depends on the situation. So if you hear me being like, uh, hey, uh, Shonda just came in the room, I hit you back. If I heard you say that? Yes. I would be like, why would you not say that before I came in? I didn't want to hear that. I ain't know you coming in the room. Yeah, but no, that's a that's a respect thing. Like, why would you say that and let me hear that? No, we gotta argue. That's something we gotta argue right now. <laughs> what the fuck? You don't, you don't agree with that? Uh-uh. Okay, well something's wrong. You see? Yeah. Why you ask for this shit? I just did. I just did. He know. just asked for the truth. I just be want to know, but he asked for the truth. I'm gonna get it out of one way or the other, cause what? she's not. You she slow. They are they are built for this. <laughs> you cannot defeat this lady. What's your sign? Scorpio. Scorpio, okay. What's your? Libra. Oh. Yeah. What's your and guess what? Does it Mary matter? Hannah, Lil Lamb. I'm about to say, does that does that really be matter? It matters. Why? That's real. But come and tell you why this shit don't matter. No, because I act just like my dad. And he's a Sagittarius. So it has nothing to do with um, my son. I act just like the nigga who raised me. It ain't got that's shit he to raised do with you. Yeah, Excuse but me. still, he got he's a different sign than I am. So when women ask me like, what's your sign? I'd be like, Scorpio, they be like. Oh, okay, that means you like this and you like that. I'm like, no, I'm like my daddy. <laughs> However that nigga is. See? It's different styles. Like, y'all got different personalities that you don't know about. I guess. Right. You got to, like, breed different, so it's a thing. Like, yeah, we so all have different traits. What, what, do you, what do you fuck with Scorpios? Like, I've never talked to a Scorpio in general, I don't, don't think, know and known missing. it. You don't know what you miss. Really? But we ain't going to get on there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you do. You ain't miss shit. I ain't miss nothing. Everybody always try to make it seem like uh, they're better people. Right, yeah. Aries. That's, you ain't missing shit. Nah, I ain't spill my Aries either. See? We good. Yeah, I ain't never had no, no bad times with Aries and We don't fuck Scorpios up the vibe. And... Okay, good. We, man, we as long as y'all don't do that. But we don't complain. I'm going to complain. Oh, he complained. Are you complaining? I complain. You motherfucking right. Oh, no. I, I went to the school and complained. I learned from a white lady how to complain. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Don't get me started. Oh, my God. Yeah. Hell yeah. Just I'm going to complain. If you don't give me exactly what I asked for or what I'm demanding, I'm going to complain. Um, don't give me your version of it. Don't try to fix it and make it. Give me exactly what I need. And that's it. I don't want shit else. Mm. Happy camper. She said, "Don't press me." Don't press yeah, her. Yeah, don't. Don't. That's do crazy. That. What's don't pressing ask her you? about shit. Um, ask her more than once. It's not even. Or what you ask? Me about shit. You can ask me about some shit, but don't ask me about some shit like too many times. You know, that's number one. So or, take my lie, motherfucker, and don't ask me no more. I ain't say take my life, you know, but whatever I tell you, just go with it. Like, don't. Just go with it? This sound like some shit a pimp will say, Erica. No. You abuse men, this and I don't truth. appreciate no. that Hey, shit. bro, I told you it was going to come out. This is not. You abusive, Erica? No, I'm straight to the point. That's the same thing. I'm not going to press you about nothing. You, yes, you are. No, you no, just, no, no. He just told you he going to get off the phone. You ain't hey, even you said we why argue. he said that or like who a ball, was on the other line or nothing. If you, I like the person. What if yeah. I was talking to my mom and All right, Ma, I get back she with was you. telling me that she was short on her car note and she know I'm embarrassed to talk about that in front of my girl, so I'm gonna call you later. You gonna call who later? My mama. What if I'm okay. talking to my mama? And I tell her Erica coming in the room and she know I'm embarrassed to let her know that my mama's short on her car note. 
So, <laughs> That's cool. But you said we're going to argue. You Like Los just said, you ain't asked me who on the phone or none of oh. that shit. You just want to know oh. why the hell I ain't say that before you walked in. I mean, my first thought is not going to be, oh, he on the phone with his mama. I knew it. You know, See, that's you not how my mind works. man for, it, for nothing. What? No. You're Any woman's going to automatically be like, what's that? What are you doing? They're not going to be like, who's that? I'm like, nah. why you on the phone? Pressing. Then I ever tell it's my not woman pressing. no shit like that. Pressing. No, that's not pressing. That's where you respect. never, you don't ever tell your woman your mama's short on her car note. Because the next time she get mad, you don't want to hear that shit again. Your not the nigga mom. who mama's short on her car note asking me anything. <laughs> you mean to tell me the whole family is broke, boo boo? You don't want to hear that shit. Oh my God. <laughs> So that's why. You gotta hit this bitch in the head with a skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> you don't let that shit slide. No, <laughs> nah, don't do that. No, you're going, that. You, you're going that. to jail. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do none of that. All of this, that's the same decision. Don't, yeah, do don't even hang up when Erica walk in the room. Don't yeah. put it on speakerphone and be like, yeah, yeah Bay in here. What, what were you saying? Yeah. Yeah, what was you saying? That's what they want. So do it. Fuck it. Women don't ask for much. They don't. Just for everything. Just for everything. Not much. No, that ain't a lot. Just. I mean, if you spent less time complaining and giving her shit, you would be fine. All right, yeah, what the fuck? That's all women be saying. <laughs> that's it. It's not, you know what I'm saying? The sooner we understand that shit, the better the As world men, will be. we just yeah, gotta be better at being providers and just yes. give them whatever the fuck they asking for. Yes. Don't ask them for shit. Don't 